So when I first came to this country in 2017, I knew absolutely nothing about Bangkok. I was a virgin. Until I started exploring a different side of Bangkok that every man, when they first come to Bangkok, should explore. The only place that they should go. Here's what I'm talking about. What? You thought this was gonna be a dirty ass massage video? Get the f out of here. Sorry to disappoint you guys, this isn't gonna be a perverted video. So if you're a guy coming here to Thailand for the very first time, one of the most common things guys do, especially us men, is that we like to get tailored suits. Why get it over here in Thailand? The whole tailor industry is huge in Thailand. For something that you pay maybe $500 or $600 US, you're paying around 2,000 or 3,000 in more esteemed shops over in Chicago or over in New York for the same quality. So it's much better for your value to come over to a place here in Thailand to get tailoring done. Tailor suits, bespoke suits, whatever you can think of. Now, one thing I do wanna add is that there's a ton of tailor shops over here, but what makes this tailor shop that we're about to explore right behind me differing than all the other tailor shops? They have their own in-house tailor, whereas all their competitors, a lot of them, I hate to say it, they outsource their tailoring outside of Thailand. So the quality isn't gonna be as great. Versus here, tailoring is done in-house at the shop. Now I visited many tailor shops all over here in Bangkok, but I gotta say that one that I can't recommend enough, that is my go-to, that is my go-to tailor shop, Tailor on 10. Let's go inside, let's go check it out, and let's go talk to the staff, and you'll see why this is my favorite place to get all my tailoring done here. Come on. All right, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm a bit biased. This is my favorite go-to tailoring shop that I go to all the time. I spend way too much money over at this place. But hey, no regrets. So I'm gonna introduce you to my go-to guy that has taken great care of me. Hi there, my name is Joachim Malberg. Uh, I'm working here at Hell on 10, and let's show around what we're gonna do today. Yeah, so firstly is every man needs a suit, and there are wide, wide ranges within the, from the fabrics to the buttons, and all the designs and everything matters from the body type of you and have the suit to match in your perfect body. So uh, mainly what we do here mostly is wool suits as it's the most traditional and uh, for me it's the best looking suits. And of course we also have some wool blend suits which is good for new starters, very durable, but however it's a little bit more humid in them. Uh, so our top sellers is actually these ones here which is milled by BBC, they are the oldest meal in the world and do great, great fabrics. And that's usually what I recommend mostly is a Super 110 suit, which is one of the best ones for me. Now, are most of your clients, do they live here in Bangkok or are they just mostly uh, guys from outside of the country? It is kind yeah. of, uh, I wouldn't say 50-50, but 70-30. Most clients are from abroad and could be from America, Europe, or even Singapore, Asia like this. Uh, we also have some local expats and then local ties also. Mostly it's businessmen. Even that now is the new normal after COVID, cash a little bit, but people still need suits. Okay, so it sounds like a business that's not gonna die. It is, it won't die, won't die. Everybody needs to look good. So as I mentioned before, this is one of the top mills that we'll be doing here, where it's one of the most affordable mills. They are the oldest mill in the world, over 360 years old. They also do kind of great quality. They're not at the top of the price, they're kind of the starting of the Italian price, but the quality is top notch. And then we also have another mills such as this side over here, which is from Drago, a little bit smaller mill in Italy, but also do great quality. And we have the world famous Holland and Sherry uh, from England, great quality also. And then we also have the top ones as these ones here, Laura Piana or Senia, which is one of the most famous mills in the world. Now when you say mill, it's pretty much where the fabric is originated from. It's where it's done. So most of the wool comes from Australia and then it's made or milled in Italy. So it's where the where they're making all the garments coming out or where they're making all this cloth coming out as fabric pieces for us to tailor. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's go through the process of me getting a custom tailored suit here at this establishment. So what's the first step? Okay, so of course you mentioned that you wanted a suit that you can kind of use both for business meetings or something that's more smart casual for evening parties or anything like that. And you mentioned before that you are kind of the 
darker tone you like more black gray tone so what i would suggest is kind of this kind of fabric which is gray charcoal gray this, this gray one, one over here this one here yeah because for me it looks good on both ways you can dress it more casual with something with a black shirt for a nice evening party or if you don't have a meeting you just use it with a white shirt light blue shirt put it on a tie and i think that looks great on you so with tie without tie white everything. shirt you everything it, yeah if you use it like you can use a pair of sneakers with a black shirt and make it more casual looking or you want to dress up with a pair of brown shoes black shoes with a white or blue shirt or red tie whatever you think and it will look great say no more i'm gonna shut up <laughs> i'm gonna go with your recommendations i'm not gonna pretend to know what i'm Definitely. doing so if you if you say the gray is good let's go with it it's good okay so now we're just gonna drape this on you so you can see like how briefly it will look on you obviously if you can tell i've got tan skin so more of a tanner tone so it just makes more sense that i get more of darker tones that match my skin tone you would say exactly and this also you have a lighter shade so you can see the difference between the lighter tone and then you also have the darker tone all right so one thing if you guys are a newbie just like me that have that knows absolutely nothing about fabrics uh one thing you have to be on the lookout for is quality fabric versus fake fabric especially with a plethora of tailor shops all over in bangkok you're gonna find some shitty ones but i'll let you explain more about this so yeah since i remember back in the days when i was a kid when i came to town the first time with my dad and i was seeing like local tailors back in the day they will always shop you in and then tell you get this wool suit blah 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 the big story and then it wasn't until i started working here at tail and 10 i found out the behind the scenes that sometimes it's not really wool sometimes it is like a blend of wool but they would say whatever would make you happy you're looking for wool they would say this is a wool you're looking for cashmere they would say it's cashmere so after working here and studying everything you start to learning like how you can spot the differences as even that it is blended with a lot of polyester it will still have like an italian name so it sounds like it is italian but it's like probably really from china or india or something like that but like this one here as you picked for us is vitale barberis canonico so as i said before it's the oldest mill in the world and the real fabrics that come usually here with a silvage so you will see at the bottom the running perennial so this is the collection probably you see so the perennial collection and then we go in further you will say it says vitale barberis canonico and that's the year when they were established nice so this is one of the steps that makes it more authentical when you're buying one of our suits that is milled in italy by branded you will also get the branding from the mill itself I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but it looks fancy, and yeah. I trust your word for it. <laughs> so yeah, so even the same one with the other ones like Holland and Sherry, Zenia, you will get this tag with them also certification that it is a real one. However, like I said before, the ones that is from China, that we also stuck because it's the lower price for new starters, and it has an Italian name, but we don't give any labels because they don't have any. Gotcha. And there's a lot of other tailors that don't put labels on at all, so it's one of the ways you can see that your suit is really what it is. So I know earlier I touched about, you know, one of my biggest concerns as, you know, a consumer, as a customer is that, you know, I've gone to many tailoring shops, uh, some good, a lot of them bad, but why tailor on 10? I know your biggest selling point is that you guys have your in-house tailor. Do you want to elaborate more on that as well as other things? So yeah, it also comes back there, as I said, from the before in the times, like how they were operating. So there are a lot of tailors out there that using kind of workshops where they're sending their everybody's sending to the same place where we're using our in-house tailoring so it's the same tailors we've been using for the back in the days and everything like that so it's easier to work with whenever any issues happen during the process or what we have to do it's easier to work with that it's like a family and then your in-house tailor they go through you know sizing measurements quality assurance quality control and all yes, that fun so stuff that's what we're having like a big also we established like a big big team so we're having first is the personal salesman so the salesperson will be with you during the full process making sure that everything goes right after that we're gonna assign you a fitter that's gonna be personally for you and you're gonna have a personalized fitting room so you don't have to stand half naked here in the shop with other customers you're gonna be alone in a private room cool Won't be and too then awkward. after that all measurements with everything gonna be sent to our tailor team which has a head cutter and he has a small team working with him and then every time it's gonna come back to you here with a fitter again 
When that's all done, we're gonna send it to the QC team. They're gonna do the final shake of everything, copying down all the numbers and putting it into our database. So in the future, three months later, you wanna buy a new suit or next year, five years later, you still fit good and then you can order it online. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to that whole process of what Walkim just mentioned, uh, I would, honestly, I'm already at this point in my age where I would rather pay more for the quality that I'm getting. You get what you paid for, even if it's a lot more, if you're paying a little bit more on the premium side, it's worth it. Especially when it comes to the QA, QC checks, then final sign off, save you so much time and save you so much headache. Walkim's well, Kim's gonna show us the, what, the fitting room? Uh, yes, yeah, so you, so what, what I mentioned before is you will have the private fitting room. So let's go up and I can show it for you. You can see probably by now, this is a really old building. I think this is even older than my grandmother, so it's over 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> but it gives a little bit of vibe back in like the summer house that you have back home, like where you go on your vacations. So this is one of the fitting rooms. So as you can see, it's a very, very wide room, big room, where you have your private space, even for your family to sit down with you while you're getting fitted. We have a big mirror and full of space, really cold in here too, with air condition, which is really nice because Van Gogh is really hot these days. So. What I know of, I think we are the only tailors in Bangkok that has developed an application for us. So we're keeping all your information about the sizings and the fabric that you picked and your orders for future references. So it's easier for you to order online because this will be linked online to your online account. So if you're looking here now, so we're making a suit. So I'm clicking first on the suits and we're gonna pick the fabric. So, and then later we're gonna pick what kind of fit you want and you're a really fit person. So we're doing fit there. We said we're gonna do the notch. And here is if you how fancy you want to be. We said we're going to do simple like single breasted two buttons. Or if you want some British styles, you have the double breasted six button. And then we also have the comment section. So if you want any special requested or as normally our bodies are not everything exact the same. So you might have a drop shoulders. You might have a longer left arm or anything like that. We can put in the comments so tailors will know about that when they're working on your suit. I'm sure you're gonna get this question a lot. Why are you guys called Taylor on 10, but your shop is located on Soy 8? Yes, uh, not that we're gonna, we're gonna get a lot of questions. We have got thousands of thousands of times about this, why we call Taylor on 10 when we were on Soy 8. It's because when we started, we were at Soy 10, and then when we grew too fast, within months, we were overcrowded and the location was too small, and the only place that we could find was here at Soy 8. And when we moved here, we didn't want to change the name because we already got the reputations and everything. And as we are quite far into the soy of soy eight, we rely on reputations, which is one of the main things that make us still living today. Taylor on eight. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, especially when we already branded as Taylor on 10. No matter where you guys move, just keep Taylor on 10. I think that'd exactly. be perfect. When you check out Taylor shops all over Bangkok, it's usually in like a main soy or street and you just have the shop in exactly. like the center. Nothing really too special, whether if you're going to shops over in Khao San Road or in Sukhumvit. Uh, but one thing I do notice about Taylor on 10 coming to this shop on Soy 8 is that you guys have like a nice garden. Exactly. So uh, it's one of the inspirations. So the owners, they really love Zen gardens and that's how they want it to be. They want you to feel relaxed to come in here, not feeling like you're coming in here to buy the suit, you're feeling forced, everything like that. We want you to come here and relax and uh, you can make the decision, you can walk in the garden, relax, drink your coffee, chill down before we start in the process because I said it's really hot here and sometimes it's kind of nice to sit down, drink the beer, relax and get cold and nice before we start with everything. But you guys serve beer? We also have beer. Yes. <laughs> and if you don't drink, we got water too. <laughs> water and coffee? Like that. Yeah, coffee yeah. we got, tea we got, and also soft drinks. So. Nice, nice. For the kids. Okay. So it's like a place where we can also come from everybody. You can have the kids coming here, they can play in the garden. Uh, you can have the wife taking photos and everything like that of the garden too because it's really nice. That's what happens most of the time is uh, the wifey, she comes and takes photos, selfies in the garden while the man is doing his business inside. So you got a ton of families always coming here and the wife is usually just out front. Exactly, they have quite often. Like the, it's a whole family coming here most of the times also. Nice, yeah. very nice, family friendly, I like that. It's a good thing. Now here's everybody's favorite question. What is the turnaround time for getting one of these bad boys done or a bespoke? 
custom tailored suits. So we need roughly around a week, a little bit more, depending on your body type, what day you come in, everything like that. So first is the first date where we're buying everything, getting measured. After that, around 24 to 48 hours is when we're gonna have the first fitting. And then after that, another 24 to 48 hours, the next fitting. And sometimes we only need two fittings or sometimes it can be more than that. But we're looking around one week to one and a half week to have it done. And the last fitting is, is everything is fine, you just bring it with you home. It's actually pretty good, One to, it is. a week to a week and a half. Exactly, because we're trying to adapt to work with all the tourists that's coming, because mostly they come on vacation and it's here for like two weeks. So we try to keep it in there. And just to be honest, after COVID, we are a little bit of short staffed also. So that's why it takes a little bit longer. It used to be able to be done within a week. Nice, nice. So we hopefully now when everything is back together again, and then we can have it done in a week as before. That's perfect. And so after 48 hours, since getting measured, picking out the materials, I am here for my first fitting and potentially my only fitting. Usually if you're new to getting your tailored suits done or getting tailored clothes done, there's usually one or two fittings just so they can have you fit it on and then they can adjust and make corrections from there on out. So back here after 48 hours and we're gonna do our first fitting of my tailored suit here. So we just finished our first fitting. You know, from what I've seen and what I observe, it's all personal preference. Whether you want to have like a more loose fitting depending on your body type and your personal preference. I personally like more of like the fitted look, but entirely up to you. And everybody has different body types in regards to that. I'll let Yul Kim explain more about this. So the main thing we saw about your body was uh, that you're quite muscular. So it means you have very sloped shoulders. So your shoulders goes more angled like this than normally squared like that. So what we have to do is taking in some fabric on your shoulders to make them more aligned to your body. And then also on your waistline that we said also it was more loose and fit. So we take it more in so it's more fitted. And as you mentioned before that many people like the differences. So some people like really loose fit, some like really tight fit. So it's all totally up to you. So during the fitting, please tell us what you like and we can help it while we're doing the process. And what's the turnaround time from the first fitting to the second and potentially final fitting? So currently now, since we're back due to after COVID, now we're starting ramping up the team again. So we're looking now around uh, four to eight hours between each fitting. And we need around two to three fittings, depending on the process which we will see on. So around a week to a week and a half. So we if you have time, we're ready to work with you a little bit longer, maybe two to three weeks, depending on your schedule too. So we will work with your schedule. Nice. Looking forward to the next fitting. Same. See you in 48 hours. So 48 hours later, I am back here on Taylor on 10 for my second and hopefully final fitting of my suit. I'm looking at it right now. It looks pretty damn awesome. Quite dapper. Hopefully this looks good on me because I needed, I don't know. I have no style and hopefully this will help change my style. But let's go try on this suit. going through my second fitting right now. I think it looks fantastic. I'm really happy with how the trousers, the jacket looks. Brought in a short sleeve black shirt, collared shirt that actually had a tailor over here as well too. So it goes pretty well with everything. This would also match well with a long sleeve white dress shirt as well too. So right now, I love how it looks. From, uh, from the recommendations from Kun Cha, one of the managers has actually recommended that we bring the waist in a little bit, make it a little bit more fitted, just because I think personally for my style, I like more of a slim fit. And also with the bottom of, with the bottom of the trousers, have it a bit more tapered. So it's normal that you're gonna go through two to three different fittings before you find what you like. Some people like the more loose fitting. I personally like more fitted, more slim look. Just like to show all my muscles, yeah. Anyways, I have none. Yeah, so as you mentioned there, we, we're going to take in a little bit more slimmer on your waistline also. As we see, there's still some room that we can take it more in. And you already said a little bit on the waist, make it a little bit tapered more 
on the cuffs and then we should be done. So hopefully next time you can bring the suit home. So I'm back here on my third and final fitting here on Taylor on 10, 48 hours in between fittings. So really excited to try the finished package. Let's go try it on. So this is it, gentlemen. This is the final product of my nice wool blended suit. I got the white Taylor on 10 shirt that I got a couple of months ago. Got this nice dark gray wool blended suit. Perfect for any occasion. Weddings, smart casual, meeting your significant other's parents for the first time. So this is brand spanking new. I'm re really, really, really loving this. 100% wool suit, made in Italy. So. Yeah, you're gonna be look handsome. You're gonna look like an Italian mob. An Italian what? Mob. <laughs> like a Chinese gangster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so without saying anything more, there's a reason why I always go to Taylor on 10. They do a fantastic job with suits, with my trousers, with my short sleeve dress shirts. I have, like I said before earlier, I spent way too much money here, but it's money well worth spent. It's better to buy it once, then buy twice. All right, with closing thoughts, special thanks to Ruo Kim and Cha for taking great care of me. They've done a fantastic job. So next time you guys are over on Taylor at 10, these guys will take great care of you. They'll get your measurements down, your needs, your desires, what you're looking for. They are subject matter experts and professionals in this industry. But I'm gonna link all their socials down in the description down below with Taylor on 10, Facebook, website, line. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I love each and every one of you guys. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys leave a comment, like, subscribe to this channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in this next video. Check out Taylor on 10 the next time you're in Bangkok. Take care. Peace. Bye.